This is a presentation on Robert H. Goddard, the father of modern rocketry. Goddard was born in 1882 in Worcester, Massachusetts, and he was interested in science at an early age, and he even experimented with chemicals, causing an explosion in his own home. He was also uh, interested by the exploits of the Wright brothers when he was a teenager, uh, which helped him get into uh, aviation and later uh, space flight. Goddard became interested in space flight over reading War of the Worlds, he read papers published by Samuel Langley, which served as the basis for his knowledge on flight and aerodynamics. After high school, he attended Worcester Polytechnic School and finished graduate studies at Clark University. While well, in undergrad, he developed the concept of stabilizing an aircraft in flight through the use of gyroscopes, thus contributing to the development of gyroscopic instruments that we all know and love today. In the early 1900s, he also began experimenting with the concept of solid-fueled rockets. Um, one of his major uh, sources of fuel at first being gunpowder. In 1912, he began using calculus to calculate the speed and height of rockets during flight, creating what we know today as rocket science. In 1914, his propulsion methods using solid and liquid fuel for rockets were officially patented. His early designs were doubted by the scientific community at first because um, they were not able to effectively operate in space or a vacuum. His experiments proved they were capable of spaceflight, but with decreased performance. Uh, Charles Lindbergh was very supportive of his experiments and gave substantial financial support for um, his developments. In 1916, in order to fix the decreased performance of rocket flight in the vacuum problem, Goddard began developing the concept of using ions from electricity to generate thrust. He published his uh, main paper, A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes, considered one of the major works of rocketry um, that serves of, as the basis for um, what we know about getting rockets into space. At the time, uh, Goddard's main goal of building rockets was for, uh, was for weather purposes. So uh, in 1926, uh, Robert officially launched his first liquid-fueled rocket called the Goddard One. There's a picture on the right. Throughout the 20s and 30s, Goddard's rockets, however, were not as successful and as a result did not receive much support from the scientific community or the public. Uh, throughout his life, he was desperate to uh, provide services to the military, but uh, because of the failures of his experiments, uh, the, uh, the military lacked interest. However, he did manage to uh, land a contract at the Navy and he built a rocket powered takeoff system for one of the Navy seaplanes. Later in 1935, he built the first liquid fueled rocket to break the spe uh, speed of sound. And Goddard's mathematical framework for rocketry allowed scientists to uh, determine the escape velocity for exiting the Earth's atmosphere, which uh, was crucial in uh, getting the first satellites and later humans to the moon. He uh, was heavily criticized among the scientific community and public because his ideas were considered too outlandish and a lot of his experiments were not successful and in 1945, he unfortunately died penniless and with very little recognition of his work. However, he is now considered the father of rocketry and made substantial contributions to space exploration, as well as military technology with missiles. So yeah, that is Robert H. Goddard.